there's an opposing army right over there, and you want to lead your cutie waifus to victory, be it for the money, glory, or the JPEG waifu collection. There are a lot of ways to go about this, but one of the biggest and most important things to know is the concept of morale. Morale can be explained as being how disciplined your army is, how much they're going to stick around, fighting, and taking losses before running away. Imagine a unit is having two health bars. One is their actual health. The more damage and casualties, the less health they have. If it reaches zero, they're all dead. You're an idiot. The second bar is the morale bar. The more scared, tired, or undisciplined they are, the less faith in their leadership they're going to have. If that reaches a low enough point, they start running away, creating what is properly known as a rout. You see, most major battles don't actually end with one side just absolutely slaughtering each and every single enemy. Generally, the battle actually ends when one army decides, Fuck this, I am not dying for you. I'm out, and the rest start to follow. At that point, the winning army just starts mopping up the enemy using the more mobile troops like the light infantry and cavalry to chase those routers, inflicting as much casualties as they can because you don't want the enemy to regroup and be another problem to deal with. So what makes up an army's morale? The biggest factor is training and discipline. A pleb growing to a full-fledged soldier takes a lot of time drilling, marching, and gaining battlefield experience. Small things can also raise the morale of your army, like the commanding general or officer being close by, be it for the awe of inspiration or the fear of discipline. Having them fight alongside their troops just like Alexander the Great and Julius Caesar did. Now that we know what makes up morale, here comes the important question. How the fuck do you break it? One way is just being way too OP for the situation. Having the bigger and more disciplined army, as well as having nukes I mean better weapons and technology is a good start. Their actual belief in them winning the battle also factors in. Being heavily outnumbered is going to lower their morale, while heavily outnumbering the enemy will raise it. After all, nothing screams, you're absolutely screwed, more than having a bunch of neatly lined up soldiers with shiny new swords just there, ready to ram your ass. Another way is using the battlefield terrain to your advantage. Make your enemies tire themselves going up a hill. Force them to cross the freezing cold river, even having them march in uneven terrain. This is why the attacking force is always at a disadvantage. You're already used to your terrain, while they have no idea what they're getting into. But, say that's not really an option, and you're fighting an army equivalent to your own. One of the more reliable and efficient ways is to do big brain tactics, such as flanking or surrounding your enemy. Squeezing them together will make them panic and break their unit cohesion. If you're fighting a relatively equal army to that of your own, you might find your units routing regardless of what you try to do. Do not panic. If you can maintain order and rally your forces together to stop the rout, you still have a chance. A battle does not end until the entire army runs away. Now, these are great upfront and honorable-ish ways to show your enemy that you are not a motherfucker who should be messed with. However, not all of the ways to make your enemy's morale crumble are, let's say, upfront and direct. You can also use a little bit of razzle-dazzle to make their day a little shittier than it already is. But that's a topic for another time. So I'd like to thank all of my current and past Patreon supporters. Sorry if this vid took the entire December and a little bit of January, but I hope it was worth it. You spent the day since you guys first got together Building bridges when you should have built a home Now they're gone and they took part of you with them And you miss them, but they also make